It's day 20 of Vlogist. We're on our way to the gym. It's a beautiful sunny day with not a lot of humidity, so I'm in a really good mood. And uh, wait do you see what we're making for dinner tonight, because we're making beef, which I know is shocking, right? <laughs> but people do eat beef on the Mediterranean diet. I just try to keep it into small quantities and not eat it that often. So we're gonna make it on the grill. I hope you find it interesting, and let's come along with me for the rest of the day. At the gym on my favorite back machine and then I usually go to the bar and I do some calf stretches and I do some plies and then I'm gonna do some arm machines so it's a good workout <laughs> potatoes that I cut in half and I put on some salt, pepper, some red pepper, and a mixed herb blend. And I'm putting a little olive oil on. I'm gonna give them a toss and then bake them in the oven at 425. So just make sure they're in a single layer and put the skin side down because it makes them easier to get off of the foil after they're baked. dinner was really good. I bought that London broil one we were in Whole Foods and I marinated it in um, an olive oil vinaigrette all day and pounded it a little bit beforehand and uh, my mom used to stab it all over with a fork <laughs> and then pour the marinade on and then we put it on the grill and it really doesn't take long at all on the grill. And then you saw those little tiny potatoes that I bought. Um, I just cut them in half and baked them in the oven and we had some asparagus and some daikon radish on the grill and I sliced up an heirloom tomato and it all came out really good. I don't eat a lot of meat and uh, London broil is a great way to um, just eat a little bit of meat and then surround your plate with mostly vegetables and uh, so that's what I do. I wanted to talk for a second about Jerry Lewis because I heard that he passed away today. When I was a kid, I was like crazy for Jerry Lewis. On Saturday afternoons, I used to play all those movies that he made with Dean Martin. And I used to get so mad. I mean, I was really little, but I used to get so mad at Dean Martin because, you know, he was always the guy that was, he was the straight man and he was always doing something, you know, to bad to Jerry Lewis or playing tricks on him or something. And I used to like be like, I hate that Dean Martin. <laughs> when I grew up, I grew up to love him because I loved his voice and I have a lot of his music. But back then I didn't know the difference between movies and real life. Um, but um, Jerry Lewis is actually one of my bi-coastal celebrity sightings because when I lived in New York, I was working in the theater, and um, it's it's weird because celebrities in New York, you just see them walking around the street. It's not like in LA where you, you might see somebody in a car or something, but they're sort of more protected. Um, but in New York, you just see people walking around. And he was on Broadway in Damn Yankees, and I was on Off Off Broadway in some show or another. And I remember, uh, you know, our show ended, and I was kind of like walking back through the city, and I saw him walking back through the city from his show, and I was like, "Hey, there, there's Jerry Lewis." Um, we were both like getting out of a play. I thought that was really cool. And then when I was living in California one time, my mom came out to visit by herself and my brother had moved out there first and then I had moved out there and she just missed us and she came out to, to see us. And we went out to dinner one night in this restaurant. Um, I think it was in Santa Monica. 
maybe it's actually Los Angeles, but it was it was really close to where I used to work in Santa Monica. It was called Guido's, and it was an Italian restaurant. It was real dark inside, and um, we were in that restaurant, and there weren't many people in there, and then a table full of people came in and sat near us, and Jerry Lewis was there with a bunch of people having dinner, and I thought it was so cool that my mother would have a celebrity sighting of someone who was from her own generation, you know, because she, if it was just some, like, young kid from television, she probably wouldn't even know who they were, um, but she got to see Jerry Lewis, and, and when we were leaving, we went... Um, we had to walk by their table to get to the door and one of the guys was like made this face like don't you go approach Jerry Lewis Like I would never approach a celebrity and bother them at, while they're having dinner But my mom just gave him like a little wave and he went and he waved back and then we walked out and I thought that was really cute I was was always appreciative of him of like paying attention to my mom and waving back to her so Godspeed Jerry Lewis. I've always loved you. thought you were hilarious um so that's it for today. Um, I'm going to now go take a shower and get ready to watch Game of Thrones, which I hear is supposed to be a fabulous episode because it got leaked and some people have already seen it and I've been waiting all week <laughs> to watch it tonight. So um, I'll see you tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed today and uh, thanks for joining. Bye.